Hey guys, user 7 here, and today I'm going to give a detailed review about the Cosmic OS for OnePlus 2. So, just, let's get started. First of all, about the ROM, it's an AOSP based custom ROM. So, you have all the AOSP features with a hell lot of customizations. Now, it's a version 1.4 running on Android 7 1 NuGet with the latest security patch, and the Xenox status is permissive. Now, going into the software update section. No OTAs yet, you know. We can't check for updates because the latest OTA version is unknown. So it may be fixed in the latest updates, maybe in the future updates. Um, I don't know about that. Now talking about the entire UI, it's super smooth. There are no issues. And the network stability is fantastic. You know, here I have a pixel launcher with all these round icons and pixel like app shortcuts. And VOLT, LTE, everything is working fine. Wi Fi, tethering, and portable hotspot. Everything is fine. No issues yet. Now, about the pre installed apps, we have the Magisk Manager as the root manager. Here you will have a list of modes available. And so, this ROM is compatible with almost all modes if you are going to install any. Now, then talking about the Omni switch, you can, you can find it on almost all custom ROMs and then the file manager is Amaze and you know it's a beta file manager so you may face some issues now talking about the stock camera you know the camera got a few issues you know there's a pop-up called can't reach camera and camera crashes you, know, you may need a reboot there but the camera otherwise has a lot of features and here the picture size you know and now changing it into a video right here now here I have 4k recording available with HD SD and VGA but once I take a 4k video format you know I don't have the stabilization so stabilization doesn't work at 4k but at HD it works fine you, know, you can turn on the stabilization if you require so that's about the camera now we have a pre-installed substratum theme engine so that's about the pre-installed apps no issues with that except the camera and a few crashes now talking about the battery life you know you can see right here the screen on time is quite okay you can easily manage a 4 hours SOT if you're using it normally I have a 2 hours at 37 minutes with 27% left you know I never charge my battery to full about 80-85% you know that's all and still I have a 2 hours 37 minutes of SOT so if you're using Wi-Fi maybe you will get a 5 hours 5 to 5.5 hours you know based on your use now talking about the phone idle time this is quite bad you know 11 hours and 43 minutes with a 79 milliamp lows you know that's not as good as compared to the other OS or the other ROMs you know in AOS IP I got about a day and a four hours just losing over a hundred milliamps so this is not expected from this ROM and now the Android system Is consuming another two percent other than that there are no much issues you can easily manage if four to five hours of SOT if you're using it normally now that's about the battery now the average memory is very good about 1.8 gigabytes of free memory but I have not installed much of those apps and let's get into the running services about 1.5 gigabytes is occupied by a system this is much larger than most of the other custom ROMs you know they just use over a gigabyte now here you lose about 1.5 GB for that and apps use another 1.1 gigabytes I don't know what's consuming all those you know 50 keyboard with 104 megabytes and all those and the DU record or oh, I'm recording currently so that's why other than that you will not have much issues you know you will just lose about 
2 GB of RAM under normal usage without much apps pre installed. And now let's get into the bugs that I faced while using this ROM. First of all, I have, that I have mentioned already, that is the camera crashes. You know, frequently the camera crashes. So, a reboot might do the work. Now, then we have the Substratum theme engine is not that much into the ROM. That is, a few overlays are not working fine all the time. And also, the overlays are not cannot be completely changed to default without a full reboot, you know, restore system theme. I did it a few times, still the theme was not restored, so I had to do a reboot and then it was okay. And now it's okay. You know, other than that, the ROM is super smooth and one of the ROMs with the best screen on time. So, if you're someone who would like to use a custom ROM based on AOSP, I would suggest this ROM and it's also a beautiful ROM. And so that's all about the review. So if you want me to make a review about any other ROM, please write in the comments below. I shall be making a few more reviews these days. And if you need me, then please write in the comments below. Thanks for watching.